Greetings and welcome to IP Innovative Training and Support Program, Module 2, Overview of Peer Review. Basically, we will start with what is peer review. Peer review is the evaluation of work by a group of people having same level of competencies and working in same field. It is used to access the quality of the manuscript before it is published. In deciding whether to publish a paper or not in a journal, it should be evaluated for originality, validity and its significance. Types of peer review Number 1. Double Blind Peer Review In this type of review system, both the author and the reviewer are not known to each other as you can see in the picture. Reviewer as well as author can't see each other means they don't know each other's identity. Number 2. Single Blind Peer Review In this type of peer review, author doesn't know the identity of a reviewer but reviewer know the author. Number 3. Open Peer Review In this, the identity of both the author and the reviewer are known to each other means, as you can see in the picture as well, reviewer and author can see openly each other. Main Steps in Peer Review Workflow it basically starts with submission of an article. It is very important step of peer review. Authors submit the manuscript to a journal in form of a raw file. Then editorial scrutiny happens. Means now the control is under the hand of journal editor or editorial assistant whether to accept the article or reject on the basis of various factors like aim and scope, plagiarism, journal guidelines, etc. After that, selection of reviewer is also another crucial step in which the journal editor assigns the article to the reviewer whose subject speciality are matching with the manuscript. Then, peer review happens. The assigned reviewer checks the quality of article and other parameters like methodologies, research findings, significance to journal and other ethical standards. After reviewing, the reviewer provides feedback like suggest alterations and modifications, corrections or major changes or minor changes. Then reviewer suggestion and recommendations. On the basis of evaluation of the manuscript, the reviewer recommends the decision to editor including acceptance or rejection or revision. Revisions by the author. The journal handler requests these revisions to the author of a manuscript and the author address these comments to make necessary changes as per the reviewer suggestions and resubmit the file to the journal. After resubmission, Actually, the file should be reviewed again by the same reviewer and then should assign to the editors. Re-evaluation The reviewer once again check the paper whether the prior mark comments are addressed in paper or not and now hand over the decision to editors. The final decision by the editor can be acceptance, rejection and conditional acceptance with major or minor changes. Final step is acceptance and publication of a paper. If the paper is accepted by editor, it is considered to next level like to production or production stage where it undergoes copy editing, proofreading and all form formatting as per the journal style. After completion of all these steps, the paper is published. There we have put a flowchart of understanding how to review, how to peer review and how to publish a paper. First, submission of an article to a journal. Then the journal handler check whether the paper is following the journal guidelines or not. Then editorial review. After that, experts review evaluation is done. Then editor decision for publication. 
if the manuscript is accepted it goes to production level then it goes to copy editing then after that arranging text goes to typeset after all the typesetting corrections proofreading happen and finally the paper is ready to publish online or move ahead to online and print publication thank you for being a part of our module 2 stay tuned for upcoming modules thank you